Hello and welcome to 10 Minute OET. This is where we take a typical topic, a medical topic that could come up in the OET or in your everyday professional lives, and we take and look at it in more detail in just 10 minutes. Today we're going to be looking at a speaking role play. We're then going to take a listen to a healthcare professional discussing this topic. And finally, we're going to look at some useful phrases that you can take away and use. My name's Sona, I'm your online OET tutor with Bose Learning, and I'm a premium preparation provider of the OET. Thank you very much for joining me today. Okay, so today's topic then is threadworms. And as I say, we're going to be starting off by looking at a role play on this topic. And you can see here that this is set in a pharmacy. It's a pharmacist role play, but it's going to be useful for all of you. So even if you're not a pharmacist, don't worry, stay tuned, because we're going to be looking at some useful phrases and we're going to be doing some listening practice as well. So you can improve your listening and practice your gap filling skills. So let's start by taking a look at this role play then. So a parent has come to see you because he or she is worried about his or her child, Lily, who's seven years old. The parent has noticed that Lily has been scratching her bottom frequently and has seen small white threadworms, which are also called pinworms, in her stall. The parent is worried about Lily's health and wants guidance on how to treat and prevent further occurrences of Enterobius vermicularis. Apologies for my terrible pronunciation of this medical term. It's a threadworm. So your task then is as follows. Greet the parent and introduce yourself and of course ask about Lily's symptoms. So remember, in the OET, you will never have to deal with a child or a very elderly person. It will always be the carer of the child or the very sick or elderly person. So in this case, it's the parent. After that, you have to explain the likelihood of the infection and find out about Lily's medical history. Recommend appropriate medication and they give it to you here. So remember, in the OET role plays, they're not testing your medical knowledge, they're just testing your English skills and your ability to interact with patients in a patient-centered fashion. So they will always give you the medical information. You just need to convey that in a nice patient-friendly way. Explain that side effects are rare, but could include the following. Stress the need for everyone in the household to take the medication and maintain good hygiene. Explain that the medication kills the spread worms, but not the eggs. So we need these extra precautions. And then reassure the parent that this is a common occurrence among school children. It's quite embarrassing after all. So you need to be nice and reassuring here. So just to remind you again, each of the tasks will begin with a verb that you need to carry out. So greet, explain, recommend, stress, explain or reassure. Okay, so we're going to start off by focusing on this one. Okay, we're not going to do all of them today. We're just going to focus on the main body here, explaining the symptoms of a threadworm infection. And as I say, I'm an OET premium provider. I'm not a healthcare expert, so all my information comes from reputable sources such as the NHS. And in fact, this is a little video from the NHS about treating threadworm. So what we're going to do is listen to a pharmacist and I've got some gap fills for you. So you can practice your listening skills as you listen to the pharmacist explaining the symptoms of a threadworm infection. I've got four screens for you, so let's get started. Is your child scratching their bottom a lot, particularly at night? It could be threadworms. Threadworms are tiny worms that live in your poo, and they look like white pieces of thread. You might find threadworms in your child's poo or around their anus. 
If you do find them, speak to a pharmacist, medicines and advice on how to treat your child and everyone at home. Your child can still go to school as normal. To avoid getting threadworms again, everyone should wash their hands and scrub under their fingernails, especially before eating and after using the toilet. You should wash all bed linen, clothing and towels at high temperatures to kill eggs and everyone should avoid sharing towels and biting their fingernails. Okay, so how did that go? Let's listen to the answers. And of course, then I'm going to pick out some interesting phrases for you. Is your child scratching their bottom a lot, particularly at night? It could be threadworms. Threadworms are tiny worms that live in your poo and they look like white pieces of thread. You might find threadworms in your child's poo or around their anus. Okay, so this first one is scratching their bottom a lot and they look like white pieces of thread. So this here as a preposition has a very weak sound, so it runs in with the word before. Pieces of, pieces of thread. If you do find them, speak to a pharmacist, medicines and advice on how to treat your child and everyone at home. Your child can still go to school as normal. Okay, if you do find them, speak to a pharmacist for medicines and advice on, on how to treat your child and everyone. This is important. Your child can still go to school as normal. To avoid getting threadworms again, everyone should wash their hands and scrub under their fingernails, especially before eating and after using the toilet. Here we've got a nice introductory phrase to avoid getting threadworms again. So it's a nice bit of signposting, which is really crucial in the OET. It's one of the criteria, so you can tick that off by just explaining the topic that comes up next. This is what you should do. Wash your hands and scrub. So really, really wash carefully under fingernails, especially before eating and after using the toilet. You should wash all bed linen, clothing and towels at high temperatures to kill eggs. And everyone should avoid sharing towels and biting their fingernails. Okay, so some more things you should do. Wash bed linen, etc. at high temperatures to kill eggs. And everyone should avoid, don't do this, share, don't share towels and don't bite your fingernails. So it's some really nice, straightforward advice there. So what about recommending appropriate medication then? So again, this is from the NHS website. We've got Mabenzadol, which comes as a banana flavoured liquid or orange flavoured tablets. Always follow the instructions. Um, and if you have threadworms, you'll usually take a single dose. So it's just one dose and everyone in the house needs to be treated at the same time because threadworms can spread easily. So that's a really nice way to stress the importance of this. How should they take it? Well, you either chew the tablet or swallow it whole with a drink of water, juice or milk. It doesn't matter if you take it with food or not. Um, if it's a liquid dose you're taking, then there's a plastic spoon that usually comes with it or check with the pharmacist for the right amount. Be careful, don't use a kitchen teaspoon as it will not measure the right amount. So just some bits of caution here. What about the reason why everybody needs to take this medication? Well, treat everyone in your house, even if they don't have the symptoms, because the medicine kills the threadworms, but it doesn't kill the eggs. These eggs can live for up to two weeks outside of the body. And we've got some more do's and don'ts, which I've just put on here for your own knowledge as well. OK, so that's a nice little summary for you. Um, and if you like this, I'd be so happy if you could help me grow this channel um, by pressing that like button and subscribing to us and sharing this with a friend or a colleague. Thank you very much for joining me today. I hope to see you again very soon. Um, and why not, in fact, sign up to a free dose of all things OET with my free newsletter. All right, then take care um, and see you soon. Bye bye.